from Los Angeles. This is Montserrat Radio. Okay, so my audience will be so thrilled to find out about your information. So please tell us about it. Okay, I asked my husband to go to the third bank in Lancaster, Ohio. One second, one I second, said, yeah, one second. Let me just give you more, more, more volume. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, go ahead, Sarah. Mm-hmm. I asked my husband to go to Lancaster, Ohio, to the Fifth Third Bank to get a couple more million dongs, and he said, okay. So after he got done with his business, he stopped by uh, the Fifth Third Bank in Lancaster, and he asked the lady, the teller, I, he said, I would like to buy two million dongs, Vietnamese dongs. And she got on her computer, and she looked at it, and she said, For one million dongs, it's 4,900 and some odd numbers. And he just looked at her. He said, excuse me? He said $4,900 for one million Viennese dongs. And he said, well, uh, we bought it for $50 before. And he said, no, but this is the going rate right now. 
and my Bingo. husband said, thank you, and walked away. Now, uh, so it's 4000 just for $1 million. So probably, yep. I don't, I'm not good at math, to be honest. Are we talking about that probably has revalue about five cents? Uh, yes, I think I believe it's zero zero four point four. So zero zero yep. four point four, almost yep. five cents, right? Yep, you're so, right, and it's going up. It's going up. Beautiful. Well, thank you, this. Thank you so much. I'm gonna I'm gonna to broadcast this recording to my my jets in the whole world. Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you and have a great day, Benny. All I gotta right. go back to work. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. In the spirit of the war against fake news, Montserrat Radio presents The Fake News Show, conspiracy news and a different point of view of current events. And now your host, Benny Wilson. Good evening, good evening, and welcome to the Fake News Show. This is your host, Benny. And what you just heard was a little interview, a little phone call that I had with one of my jets. Her name is D. And uh, if you think that was it, well, not quite there. Not quite. Let me just show you something that my dear friend shared with me right after she called me and she gave me this this bank experience that she had so I'm gonna play again another file through my phone and she called me right maybe would it be about probably 10, 10 minutes after she called me and she said this um. And they looked it up, and he said, well, that would be $17,000. And he just looked at her. <laughs> he said, huh? $17,000 per million. And So before you told us that it was $4,000 from your husband, and then yeah, it was from somebody else, and they said yeah, it, was, from, it went up to 17000 Right. And it, it's, it's like, and he, they said to go on, uh, the U.S. Bank told him to go on travel, ex.com okay and that's what happened you got it he, he went out to the car sat down he said I was so shook up I called you I said I don't know who's going to have a heart attack or not <laughs> <laughs> so, okay thank you so much D alright thank you um, appreciate it bye 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 well as you can see you know it's funny because this is how you're going to have to deal with it you, this is this is basically what you're going to have to deal with. You're going to have to deal with these surprises. And you got to, when I, let me just tell you what happened. I received a phone call. And I, and I suppose not to give you more information about this. But I'm going to give you this only, this information only. Um, I received a phone call from my sources. And they told me, go ahead, Benny. Just tell everybody the roller coaster is going to start. And I, that's what I posted on my Facebook page. I said, Get ready for the roller coaster. I had no idea what it was, but I knew something was going on. And I want you to know this. You see, I want you to understand this. Um, one of the main reasons why I'm being attacked is because as, uh, most of the time I'm right. I'm not one step ahead of everybody. I'm not two step ahead of everybody. I'm basically three step ahead of everybody. And there is the reason why just this week, this past week, I had a half a million people listening to my broadcasting. Because you cannot logically not listen to me when things are happening right in front of you. The more I'm right, the more I'm being attacked. 
the more I'm dealing and killing everybody's bullshit about the the dragon family and the elders, the more they hate me and they attack me. And not only the trolls in the internet. No, not only that. Not only the people on this guru's website that unfortunately my broadcasting have been posted there. Because many of them are trolls. Many of them are people who don't want me to say the things that I had to tell you because they don't want anybody else to ruin their fairy tale about the dragon family and the elders and all the aliens bullshit they want you to know. That is why they hate me. Because my video that called that said that Dawn will be the bomb, that video, okay, that video, that, that actually that show, when I broadcasted that show, my show was about uh, 350,000 people listened to my show. It went viral. It also went viral in YouTube. And by the way, let me just tell you something about that video. That video got flagged by YouTube. Yes, you hear it. It got flagged in YouTube because they say that I use proprietary content in my in my Facebook and when I read that the contents of the, the issue they said that the song that I use I have no license which they are wrong every single song that I play on my show it has a payout license I do not like to violate any people's uh, material I don't do that I'm a ass banker I know what is that about so what they were looking for, and they actually want me to shut up. They want me to shut up because they know I'm telling you the truth. And they don't want you to know the truth. They know that what I'm telling you is going to wake up your consciousness. And it's going to try to, it's going to change and going to switch the way you see things around you. I've been telling you from three years that you need to Reset your mind. Your mindset needs to be changed. Because if you do not want to go broke after the RB, after you exchange, you will go broke in the next three years when you exchange. I've been telling you, and I'm going to confirm it to you because that's about to happen. You need to change your mindset. And people are telling me, how am I, okay, I want to change my mindset. How am I going to change it? Period. You need to understand that not everything you hear, not everything that I tell you, it is true. It is not true. First of all, get away from people who talk to you about the, the elders and the uh, family dragon. And anybody to tell you, but I got proof that the aliens are helping us. Is full of shit. Once you do that and you get out from that brainwashing stuff, that fairy tale that they've been putting on your brain for more than a decade, then that's a good starting. And then you're gonna have to educate yourself. How are you gonna educate yourself? You can take seminars, you can take classes in colleges, you can take whatever it, it, it comes so you can be educated how to handle your money. And have to get rid of your bad habit of spending and spending and spending all the time. Because that's going to brought you in bankruptcy after you exchange. That's what they don't want me to tell you. Because they know what I'm talking about. And they know that I'm waking up people's brain. They are, they are waking up people's consciousness. Tonight's show is going to shock you. And it's going to shock you because I'm going to tell you stuff that you never heard anywhere. For those who don't follow me or just barely starting my show, you are going to witness something that is going to about to happen and it's going to shock your mind. And I'm not joking about it. Today is a great day. It's a beautiful day. Not because of the contents of this show, but because the world is about to change. It's about to change, literally. 
So let's put all, again, let's put all the pieces together. And I'm going to give you some news right now. Okay, so let's go to the news right now, what is public right now, okay? So the public uh, news right now, if you like, let, let me log in. And I go over here, and then I see the news. Now, right now, Iraq is still implementing the zero-hour campaign. Okay? The zero-hour campaign basically is preparing people, preparing the media, that they are about to declare themselves free from Daesh and ISIS. Okay? I was attacked when I said they've been free for a year and a half, and everybody started laughing about it. Now I got another guy coming to me and he said, Benny, don't, don't get mad if I ask you something. I said, okay, sure. He said, can you please prove to me how they are talking to you? I said, sure. You know, let me, let me, that would be easy. That would be actually the easiest way to, um, to prove you that they are attacking to me. Okay. So let me just go to my YouTube channel because that's where most of my attacks happen. And I will tell you just one example. Just one example of what I'm talking about. And it's about a video that I posted not too long ago. And the video is about the dinar. And this guy it has a name. It says M as a Mary S as a son, MS. He says... I didn't know Speedy Gonzalez was was Dinar Guru. You know who Speedy Gonzalez is referring to, right? It's me. Yeah, the Latino wetback face. Yes, me. And he says, sounds good, except I don't believe that Don will ever be $5 in our lifetime. Maybe 5 to 10 cents are the best. But I do agree we should be seeing a true reality. See, they give a good comment, and then the first of all, they need to insult because they love to insult. This is one of just one of the trolls that I have to put out with, okay? And I block it, and they come back with another name, and they start giving another insult, another attack. So that's what I, I have to go through every single day. Just an example, just a little example. Of what I'm talking about, okay? So now I'm Speedy Gonzalez. And that's the reason why I gave the interview, because I was not one, I was not two, but three steps ahead of everybody. I said to you everything. I, I even said it very, very clear. Just wait until the dawn revalue, you, and everybody's going to be jumping around and screaming. Why? Because it's still not time to go to a bank. But just wait when the international rate fix. And you will scream. That's all I got to tell you. If you think you're going to be a millionaire with a dinar, you have no idea where you're going to be with a dong. None. And with this idiot, like I just said, you know, I don't think we're going to see a, uh, the dong revalue in our lifetime. With this, you see, that's, what I that's exactly what I'm talking about. Most of the people live in a reality that, in a reality that is called mediocre. What it has never what he has never actually happened, it will happen. You live in another another reality. And I will bet that this moron is another liberal retard. Because only retards speak that way. Okay, and that's exactly what I'm saying. Before you be able to actually, actually, you know what? When I bought my dong, I bought one million dollars, one million dongs, one point seven million dongs. I bought it for less than twenty-seven dollars. Yes, I did. One point seven million dongs. I bought it for twenty-seven dollars. I remember that. Now you need to spend seventeen thousand dollars for one million. Only. Now this idiot is still waiting for the lifetime that he will never see that happen again. 
And that's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You need to change your mindset. Because anything is possible. In the finance world, anything is possible. I told you yesterday that I have talked to big time, high level brokers that have deal with currencies. Exchanges in the currencies. And they have told me, Benny, we got revaluations every single day all around the world. Some of them revalue one cent. Some of them revalue two or three cents. The most that we ever seen was five cents. And that is huge. That is huge. Okay? Now, imagine. And I even said that yesterday. Imagine. That they don't come out tomorrow. I even say yesterday, okay? I say yesterday. Look, what about if they don't come tomorrow, 40 cents? How do you think the people were going to react? And look, we just had a news today. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? This is the reason why I got half a million people listening to my show. I'm going to repeat that again. What about if tomorrow it comes at 40 cents? Will you go to the bank? I bet you do. Can you imagine the collapse of people running to the bank like crazy? Having all types of traffic accidents. Having all types of incidents. Not, uh, not even outside the bank, but uh, inside the bank. I even have told you. Remember what I told you many, many, many shows ago. I said, if you act like a complete moron, you're not going to be able to exchange. How can I say that? I even send the letters to, to all of you. To those who are in my letters list. I specify, I specifically say, if you are trying to be a moron inside the bank, be ready to be kicked out. Because they're not going to change it to you. Period. I know that because I'm a S banker. If you do not know how to behave yourself, if you are a troll in the internet and outside the internet, you better send somebody to exchange it because your ass is going to be out before you know it. Okay? Just to let you know that. So let's continue with the news. So today we have great news with the dawn. We have uh, excellent news. And this is the other thing I want to tell you about. Let, let's talk about, I'm going to, just like I told you in the beginning, I'm about to give you information that you're going to like and you're not going to like. Both. And why you're not going to like the information I'm going to give you is because you're probably not going to be open to this kind of information. Okay? For those who are just listening to my show, you're probably not going to like my information, what I'm about to tell you. Tough luck. I'm sorry. I'm not here for your pleasure. I'm only here to share my information. Okay? Now, what am I talking about? Well, let me just get my, my messenger. And this is something that we are trying to put all the pieces together. Remember that? We are trying to put all the pieces together. I have told you that as close as we get for the exchange or for the RB, we're going to be receiving a lot of turmoil news. news. We're going to be receiving a lot of bad news. We're also going to be receiving great news, fantastic news. But it's going to be so overwhelming, people will not, be hand, will not be able to handle so many roller coasters. And today's show is that, is that the way it is. Here comes the roller coaster. I was right, isn't it? So here comes the roller coaster. I'm going to give you another information that I know for sure are going to be attacked for a lot of trolls on YouTube, everywhere. I'm going to be attacked when I tell you this. I don't care. So if you're still listening and you want to know what it's about, stay tuned. Because if you don't like it, you can just change it. Okay? So here we go. Let me see if I have this right. Uh, let me see if I can find it. All right. As you all know, I've done a lot of 
I, I have a lot. Oh, by the way, before I give you that information, I'm going to ask anybody, anybody of you, please go to any bank. Find out what is the rate of the Vietnamese, Vietnamese dong. Find out what's the rate. Okay? And if you need to pay $17,000 for 1 million dong, ask them how much is for the exchange. Ask them. Let me know. Call me. You can call me through Facebook. You can call me through Skype. How? What is my ID to Skype? If you are in YouTube, you're listening. I'm going to leave a, a link underneath the video. You can call me through Skype. Okay? You can send me an email at Benny Intel RB. That's Benny with one N and a Y. Benny Intel RB, gmail.com. At gmail.com. Okay? And tell me, what is your experience? What did they tell you? If you have to pay $17,000 for $1 million down, how much would you get back if you want to exchange? Simple, isn't it? And let me know what they tell you. Is it time for you to go to exchange? No, it's not time to, for you to go to exchange. Why? Because we're not there yet. Okay? Just to let you know that. Alright, so let's continue with my news. For those who have been following me for a long time... I mentioned to you that I, I am a Catholic. And I mentioned to you that back in April, when we supposed to have the public exchange, and I told everybody, as far as I know, it was going to be in April. And all of a sudden, they changed their mind. And everybody collapsed. I'll say, what? Yes, they changed their mind. They're going to do it in July. Everybody attacked me on Facebook. Everybody. Okay? I receive all types of attacks, insults, like I am the one who decided when the RB is going to happen. That is so, so idiot. I'm not, the, I'm not the one who has control for the RB. I'm only the messenger. Get it? All right. So now I said on April, I found profound information about it, uh, something that happened back in 1963. Back in 1963, there were four little girls. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, four little girls. And in this place in Spain, this is a little town in Spain that is called Garabandal. Um, you can just Google it. Go to YouTube and search the whole history in English and in Spanish. In English and in Spanish. And it's called Garavandal. All right? So basically what it is is that there were four kids that they have a tremendous uh, story to tell. The Virgin Mary appeared to them. And they gave them three messages. All right? So from the three messages, she's supposed to come back again for a big, big, huge miracle that every single human being in the planet Earth will feel it inside of. Okay? This is the prophecy from the Virgin Mary. Now, I'm beginning to see, I'm beginning to receive a lot of messages right now from people who hate it because not everybody's Catholic here. That's fine. Tough luck. You don't like it? Get out. Alright? Because I have to deal with all this. You see, the true, you cannot even, the true is not even a, a, a something to deal with. The true is true, and that's it. Deal with it. I have a lot of, of my, of my followers, they are evangelical, they are Pentecostals, they are, some of them Mormons, they're all Jesus Christ follow. They're all Jesus, uh, Jesus Christ faith with. They, they, they love Jesus Christ. They're my brothers. And my sisters. Not even once I have attacked any, any Christian. Okay? Understand that part, fact. So if I tell you this, just open your mind. Don't close your mind. Alright. So here we go. 
it says on the letter, oh, now, now, now a letter just came out, okay? Because according to a lot of experts, this miracle is supposed to happen last April. It didn't happen. Remember I told you guys that that when we get the ARB, all these things will get together? Okay, this is bingo. This is big time bingo. Okay, let me just read everything about it. The new letter says, three things are coming and soon. My brother gets them and sends the new letter to me. The brother of this, uh, this lady, my sister who sent me this. Hope this hope, I hope that this will help people will listen. I hope so. I hope so too. Okay, he said. With the, appara- with the apparition of Our Lady, the cycle of operations of Garabandal close. It will be definitely confirmed on a Thursday at 8.30 p.m. When the miracle takes place, this will, this will mark the beginning of a new era in the history of the salvation of mankind. Remember what I told you about that the was the RB was probably going to be your last, your last, and I really mean it. The RB was going to be your last chance for you to save your soul. I did say that. Why? Because there's a moron out there who's telling you that it's not about you and me to get filthy rich. It's about humanitarian projects. But for that moron to manipulate this information, he wants to take a big part of a junk of your money and only giving you 20%. And 80%, he will take it. Remember what I told you, right? Well, guess what? It's not going to be that easy. You will be able to exchange. You will be able to change your life completely. But you will have to have a moral, a moral obligation to change this planet, to change people's life, to change and make it better. Because if you don't, judgment will come. I told you that, didn't I? And if you don't, if you guys don't remember that, there you go. So, it says, it says right here, if people do, do not pay attention, it will be bad. Yes, it is. It is will be bad. It will be bad. So she sent me this information. I'm gonna post it on Facebook. Okay. It says right here. This is the small part of the letter with the link about. It. Hello? Okay, I got, sorry, I got disconnected. And you know why I got disconnected? I got disconnected because I have already half a million people again in my server. Yes, my server is going down now. Sorry. So let me just repeat what I was talking about. The Conchita ends with this. The Blessed Virgin Mary told me before that Jesus does not want to send the punishment in order to distress us, but in order to help us and reproach us because we do not pay attention to him. And that warning will be sent in order to purify us for the miracle in which he will show us his great love and in order that we may fulfill the message. Okay, so what is the message? We need to be good to each other. Simple. That's been the message. We need to be good to each other. We need to help each other. We need to forget about hate. Right now, the liberals are killing it. 
there's a big hate against Donald Trump. Why? Because of delivering lies against him. I have never seen a spirit and never experienced and seen so much hate in my entire life from one political party. Never. And this is what's happening. Now, remember I told you about the prophecy? I said, we gotta wait for a lot of stuff to happen. Especially the earthquakes. Didn't I say that? I said that yesterday. We got right now news that are reporting 296 earthquakes in one of the most biggest, most dangerous volcano in the world. What is the name of that volcano? Let me see if I can find it here. <laughs> I'm serious, you know, you got you got to you got to read, you got to reset, you got to wake up, people. Here it is. It's the Yellowstone super volcano. It's a super volcano. They already have reported so far 296 earthquakes. Remember the prophecy where it says, and our earth will shake and shake again. And I told you, we have to wait for that, right? So now we're having all these things happening. Is that, is that a coincidence? No, it's not. Is the warning of Virgin Mary is, is a coincidence? No, it's not. Are the war, the nuclear war about to happen? As Russia already said that they're going to destroy any airplane in Syria. Is that a coincidence? No, it's not. Is that a coincidence with ISIS about to be ending? Fulfilling the prophecies of King Clement, his prophet. No, it's not. There is no coincidence unless you want to live in your retarded mind, in your retarded reality. Wake up. Wake up. This is your reality. I'm not here to preach you, God, because I'm not, I'm not worthy about it. I'm not worthy about being a preacher. I'm a sinner, maybe worse than you are. But at least I recognize that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and He is the only Savior. And if you don't like it, tough luck. So, let's go back to the letters. Okay, it says right here about the Virgin Mary in, in Spain. It says, the prophecy says that it will happen on Thursday. Hello, that's tomorrow. Tomorrow at 8 p.m. Is it 8 p.m. or 8.30 a.m.? I don't know. It says right here, 8. It will happen. It says it will happen. Uh, it does not say which Thursday. It is a.m. or p.m. Sorry, my messenger. Okay, all right. So the thing is that it does not say when it's going to be, but it's going to be on a Thursday, 8.30. 8, 8.30 p.m. And it says right here, when the miracle happened, it will take place. This will mark the beginning of a new era in the history of salvation of mankind. If you put all the pieces together, you're going to know that King Clement mentioned it before. You're going to know that Mark Taylor mentioned it before. You're going to know that other prophets around Latin America had mentioned it before. And I'm talking about Protestant prophets. Not to mention Catholic prophets. There's one Catholic prophet from Italy. He even mentioned the names of all the girls of Maracandal. And he mentioned single every every single name of the people that will take place of the miracles will happen. And why is that so important? Because not even the girls that are gonna be in that place know the people in themselves. So Jesus is trying to communicate with humanity through their prophets. For one single event that will change the era. It will change. I remember the word that I say. Your paradox. Your reality. It will change your reality. 
What did I say when 25 million people become rich overnight? Will that make any change to the world? You betcha. You betcha. Your reality will change in front of you. If you're not ready, sorry, my friend, you're going broke in less than five years. Bottom line. All right. So let's go back to the news. I'm receiving a lot of emails. Some of them insulting me and some are blessing me. All of you, thank you so much. Uh, yes, I have a, I have an idiot testing me right now, insulting me. Good. Anyway, so let's go back to the news. I almost done. I think I almost done. Uh, let me see the news. Where's the news? Okay. Uh, all the breaches have been liberated in Iraq. Okay. They just said it. This is official. All the breaches are liberated in Iraq. What's going to happen now is that this weekend, we might have the liberation of Mosul in Iraq. And it's going to trigger something. So anything can happen in the next few days. Remember what I told you. We need to wait for the bad news. When you read the bad news on the news, over, over the TV, wherever you get the news, when you start reading the bad news, do not cry. Do not jump around. Enhance the bad news. Because that's your signal that we are about to receive our blessing. Simple. Okay? That's your signal right there. I told my jets, embrace the chaos. Today, it is the day that you're going to embrace your chaos. Embrace it. Hug it. Say, God, thank you, Lord. Thank you, because your blessing is coming. Yes. Because we're going to have tough, tough bad news. Trust me what I'm telling you. And when we do, we know our blessing is coming. There's more news I can give you right now. Definitely I can give you more news right now. But it's not the time yet. And besides, I told you already, I cannot give you breaking intel. Okay, so let's just wait. Let's just wait. I'm going to give you three hints. If you understood my hint, fine. If you do not understood my hint, too bad. Too bad. I'm going to give you the first hint. There's a cryptocurrency called Dodge. D-O-D-G-E. Get on it. I don't care how you do it. Get on it. Okay? There's a business that is going to come out that I have not been able to uh, actually acquire the information. But is there is, is a business going to be global, meaning the whole world is going to be, be part of it. And it's going to change the face of the financial system as we know it. And like I said, it has not come out yet. It already started in one country, but it's, by the time we, it reaches, it probably be by next month. Okay? I cannot tell you what the name of it. Well, I got to tell you that it is a global business. It's going to make not thousands, but millions of people very rich. If you find out about it, send me a letter. And I will tell you, yeah, that's, that's the one. Okay? That's your second hint. Your third hint. Here comes your third hint. Be careful. Be careful for what you're going to receive in the few days. You're going to be receiving a lot of fake 800 news, 800 numbers, I'm sorry. You're going to be receiving a lot of fake 800 numbers. They will tell you, hey, the change is now here. Don't call. Don't call. That's all I got to tell you. Just wait. All right? That's it. 
I'm not gonna give you, I'm not gonna give you more 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 information because the people I'm dealing with they don't want to be messed with. All right. So thank you so much for your for your attention. Thank you for a hundred thousand. Oh my God, there's a lot of people out there. Um. Okay, but now you can hear me, right? Okay. So. Uh, thank you so much for all the people who are listening right now to, to my show. Uh, and I will see you tomorrow. I understand that tomorrow is going to be crazy. So I will see you tomorrow. Probably going to broadcast about this time. About 3 p.m. Pacific time. More likely, yeah, from 3, to 3 p.m. to 3.30. Probably I will broadcast live. Hopefully earlier. Alright, so thank you so much for your attention. And I will see you next uh, next time for another edition of the Fake News Show. For now, God bless everybody. Thank you for listening to The Fake News Show with Benny. See you next time for more conspiracy news, current events, and intel from the most controversial show from Montserrat Radio.